And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. In the heart of the Rift Valley in Kenya, a remarkable story of hope and unity is unfolding. Amidst the rolling plains and under the watchful eye of the Kenya Wildlife Service, a unique operation is bringing together communities once torn apart by conflict. And at the center of this endeavor are the majestic Rothschild's giraffes, whose relocation promises not only to save the species, but also to foster peace between rival communities. Our next report brings you the details. On a vast sun-drenched farm nestled in Kenya's Rift Valley, the air is thick with anticipation. Amidst the swaying grass, a veterinarian steadies his hand, eyes fixed on a majestic Rothschild's giraffe. Then, with a soft hiss, a tranquilizer dart flies through the air, finding its mark. The towering animal sways gently, then sinks slowly to the ground. This moment marks the beginning of a delicate and crucial mission undertaken by the Kenya Wildlife Service, where these gentle giants will embark on a journey to their new home. Their destination lies some 140 kilometers to the east in the Ruko Conservancy of Baringo County. And their relocation is part of a long-standing initiative aimed at fostering peace between two rival communities, the Pokot and the Ilchamos. In the mid-2000s, wary of the constant conflict and loss, the elders of both communities conceived a bold plan. They decided to bring the Rothschild's giraffes back to an area they once roamed. And the goal was twofold. First, to reintroduce an endangered species to its former habitat, and second, to restore peace through a shared commitment to conservation. Where we are now today was a battleground uh, for the bandits, and uh, the bandits colonized for quite some time before the elders now started uh, coming in and uh, said we need to do conservation, we need to bring uh, the wildlife as a sign of uh, peace between the two communities. And that is now where they decided uh, uh, to bring uh, uh, Baringo giraffe, which was here initially before the conflict erupted and forced them to move away. Kenya, renowned for its spectacular wildlife, has seen giraffe numbers dwindle in recent decades due to poaching and habitat encroachment. Yet, as the giraffes from Sergoit prepare for their journey, there is a palpable sense of hope. Giraffe, it's a symbol of peace. Whenever they see giraffe, they see uh, peace. So every time we want to increase the number, it shows or it uh, tells us that uh, the peace is prevailing and we need to bring more giraffes. Sixteen hours later, when the convoy arrives at the reserve, people from both the Pokot and Ilchamus communities gather in joyful celebration. Songs fill the air and feet dance to the rhythm of hope and reconciliation. These giraffes are then eased into a small pen where they will adjust to their new surroundings before being released into the wilds of Ruko. So, as the sun sets over the Rift Valley, casting long shadows over the landscape, the giraffes stand as silent sentinels of a fragile peace. Their presence here is a testament to the power of nature to heal and unite. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree, one tree for humanity. 
One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Hello and welcome to First Call. 